Hello guys, welcome back to the Java tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to learn about how to return more than one value from just one method. Well, traditionally, you can only return one value from one method, but uh, we're going to use the power of object orientation to do this. First of all, I'm just going to create a new class called Fake Calculator. Oh, oh man, C A L C U Calculator. Yeah, calculator. Okay, yeah. I'm just gonna create a main method: public uh, static void main string args. And um, the only the I mean, there are many ways to do this, but one of them is to create a a wrapper class that wraps all of the values inside. So I'm just gonna create a wrapper class, and uh, for this tutorial, I'm gonna create a method that returns speed and position so the wrapper class is supposed to contain speed and position two variables so I'm gonna call the class speed position you can call this class anything you can call it property you can call it football anything but uh, for ease of using organizational benefits I'm just gonna say speed speed position and here I'm gonna say double double speed double double position I'm going to create a public class constructor. Speed equals s. And now I'm going to create um, uh, the getters and not the setters. So NetBeans has got a cool way. Refactor encapsulate fields. And uh, I'm going to check the that is now so there refactor and now I've got the get speed and get position uh, I'm gonna go back to the fake calculator class and in here I'm gonna create a method which is gonna be static since we're gonna access the method from the main which is static method again this has to be static static um, is gonna return speed position object um, and get speed and position and it's going to return new speed position and speed is going to be 100 and position is going to be 500 and in this I'm just going to check I'm just going to test this speed position sp equals get speed in position and I'm just going to print them out speed is speed dot get speed speed and uh, position is sp dot get position there and I was gonna run this now shift f6 and oh come on oh I forgot the plus sign shift f6 and it says speed 100 and position 500 precisely so now we know that have that we can return multiple values from just one method call and uh, this is the way to do it and uh, there are other ways like you, you can use arrays you can use array lists you can use hash maps and stuff like that but they are they are not that that you know like I mean if you have a hash map you have, uh, your class is implementing the, that method has to know what is the key and what is the value and uh, stuff like that so uh, there are ways to do that but uh, I think object orientation is the best way to do this so uh, yeah, so that's it. So I'll see you guys later in the next tutorial. Till then, bye-bye, and have a great one.